Probably we're not, but here we go. Edition. Ah! Wow. Did we talk to that at the same time? Ben is seven on on this windy night. Holy crap. You guys want to call around Hey there, I'm Regis Tobin. Welcome to the show. Um, How many players? We're doing Millionaire Sports Edition. This will be player. game seven. That's fine. That's fine. So far we're at a million and thirty six thousand dollars. I'm here with Let's find out who you are. Now please enter your name. Mike, uh, J, Mikey, Rubble, and Marty. Sports, yeah, it's a sports edition. I know it's sports. Hey, get the game on the way. That's great. Here we go. Yeah, let's play. Here's the first question. Here we go. What kind of derby is traditionally held as part of the Major League Baseball All-Star Fantasies? Pitching, stealing, home run, fishing, home run, final. Yeah, there you go, Ben. You're sure that answer C will not send you to the locker room? You're absolutely right. Will not send me to the locker room? The fudge? Okay, you've got a hundred. That may be a respectable basketball score, but in this game, we're just getting started. Go ahead, take a look at your next question. The Bud Cares Award is given annually to college football's best players at what position? Quarterback, linebacker, safety, brown sir. What's the name of the award? The Bud Cares. I am. Yes, very well. Dick Buckus is quarterback. Linebacker. You know, I think they're trying to tell you something. 15 seconds on the clock, please. B final. Playing the percentages, huh? Okay. You're right. Two hundred dollars. That won't even get you floor seats to see a high school basketball game. We better take a look at your three hundred dollar question. Hi, um, which of these events always indicates the end of the boxing match? Knock down, knock out, knock worse, knock on the door. It's a knockout. Be final. It's a B seems to be right to you. Fine. You got it. Knockouts, knockdowns can lead to the end of the fight, but not always. That's true, though. But it's a knockout. Like I always said. I give you three hundred dollars and a chance to win five hundred on this next question. Here we go. Which of these American professional sports leagues does not, co not contain team based in Canada? MLB, NBA, NFL, NHL. NFL, NFL final. You think Answer C is in the hole? MLB is the Blue Chase, Raptors, That's NBA, right. Maple Leafs, and I know there's an other one. Get it in. up to 500 bucks. Canada One too. More and you walk away with but we got it. Dollars. Let's see the next question. Where was Major League Baseball star Sammy Sosa born and raised? Puerto Rico, Panama, Curacao, Dominican Republic. D final. Okay, okay. You're gonna go for the gold with answer D. Alright, 
Says that he's not you are oh, correct. Right. Uh, okay. exactly. May not be able to bat a thousand, but at least you won that much. Let's see if you can double your score with the next two thousand. Who was the first African American head coach in the NBA? Lenny. Lenny Rickens, Willis Reed, Casey Jones, Bill Russell. Man, you're an NBA expert. You should know this. Oh my god. But yeah, but not that expert. Oh, you want to have Siri? Well, that's fun of Lenny. Alright, you want to use Siri, the lifeline? Right Just phone up my friend Willie. He's a good buddy. He's the bartender, you know, at a sports bar. So if he doesn't know the answer, somebody else in the crowd might. You son of a bitch, don't listen. Joe Sports Bar, Willie speaking. This is Regis. I bet you know why I'm calling. Oh, you must be doing the show. Hey, everybody! It's Regis from Millionaire, and we're the Bone of Bread! <laughs> Sounds like a wild crowd there. Oh, we're packed tonight, but everyone's in a great mood. Anyway, what's going on? You know, I'm calling for your opinion on a Millionaire Sports question. You ready for it? Ready as ever, man. Here we go. Oh man, that's too much for me. Let me ask around. Hey, does anybody know This is out of control. Hey, Reed. No one's really sure on this one. We're gonna go with D, but I hope this ain't for the million. Hey, we're grateful for your input. Take care. Later. You said Bill Wasso. The bartender says D, and it's his last call. What's it gonna be? D, Bill Wasso final. Russell. Trusting my friend, huh? Trust okay. in the pack. The pack's right. Correct. Mikey needs an ass car. He has a pass car. Well, okay, that's $2,000. Don't drop the ball now. For $4,000. Here's the next question. What professional tennis player's nickname the Barcelona Bumblebee? Mary Jo Fernandez, Pancho Gonzalez, Gabriela Sabatini, Alexa Sanchez Fixiata, that's gotta be a 50-50. 50-50. Uh, Computer, uh, would you please eliminate uh, two of the four answers, leaving only one yeah, wrong answer and the correct answer? Yeah. All right, there it is. Okay. Now, the final. Seconds Jay, Jay, you're really good. You're, Jay, you're one out on the fourth of than I am. I know. You're sure that answer D will not drop you in the sand trap? When you're right, it's the Calio. Nothing but that. Let's see a replay of that for your eight thousand dollar question. No, I know. I think you did really well. In the NFL game, how high off the ground is the crossbar of the goal post? Twelve feet, ten feet, fifteen feet, twenty feet. Well, we know it's not too high. The crossbars and the what is it? Crossbars of the goal post. How high off the ground? Uh, the horizontal part. No, it says um in the NFL game, how how high off the ground ground is the crossbar of the goal post? In the NFL, how high are the crossbars? The Twelve feet, ten feet, fifteen feet, twenty feet. Feet. Siri, how high are the crossbars in the NFL? I think it's is ten feet one of the answers? Yeah. Siri, you are not listening. I go ten. B ten final. I go ten. Is that your final answer? Final, yes. Your confident answer B is a TKO. Alright, 10 feet. You 
are unstoppable. Now let's oh, take yeah. a look at that $16,000 question. On the Detroit Red, Ling, Red Wings NHL jersey, the wings are attached to our item. Angel, Hockey Puck, Wheel, Eagle. Wait, it's wheel, it's wheel. It's a wheel, yeah, it's wheel. Yes, it's a wheel. It's a wheel. You think it's a secret yeah, to drive a line. Fine. Because Detroit is known as the motor, the right. motor city capital of the world. It looks like you're Speaking on a streak a here. Season. Don't stop now. Next question will put you at $32,000 and the second safe haven of the game. Right, here we go. $32,000. See, now I'll just walk away. Here we go. Due to the lack of players, the NFL combined two six existing teams during World War II to create which of these teams? Red Giants, Steagles, Brackers, but beard nose. What? I'm gonna be the AFC the enemy. I thought it was the Steagles. Um, it would have been 1943, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's the Steagles. Steelers. You feel confident that Anson B will be a base hit. Wow, that's crazy. And you're right. Mercer in 1943 season. How about that? You've reached the second safe haven. You can't walk away with less than sixty-four thousand. No matter how badly you do for the rest of the game. So let's get back to it. Come on, the sixty-four thousand. Here it comes. It could be a free gamble on this. Let's do this. As of April two thousand, who is the only pitcher in the MLB history to win the Cy Young Award with the last place team? Steve Bo Steve Boston Phillies Steve Carlton from the Phillies Randy Jones Padres Wally Fingers Brewers If that would have been a free guess, I would have guessed with Jones. The only pitcher to win the Cy Young last place team. I said they sang a um, player, not the Cy Young father. <laughs> okay, I think I have an idea. Um, Alright. Last place team, right? Yes. Final record, I think, is that year was uh, 59-97. I believe it's I believe it's Steve Carlton. 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 Steve You're going to bet your winnings on answer B. Oh, well, right. 64,000. Right. 2710 for the fails. And the record was actually 59.97. The Philadelphia Phillies was the last place team. Let me score. 64,000 will buy you season tickets for you and all your friends. 
but you can always use your friends, right? MLB. So you better take a look at this $125,000 question. What is today's boss? It's traditionally played on a fonton. Try a lie, croquet, fencing, bark. What is the name of the fonton? F R O N T O N. Cricket. Who holds the record for most points scored in the NCAA Division 1 final for a basketball game with 58? Gail Goodrich, Bill Wharton, Jack Givens, Bill Bradley. Okay, so the most points in the NCAA basketball game. 58 points. 58 points. That could be Bill Wharton. What? What was that? The player who scored the most. The player who scores.
Uh, Gil Goodrich, Bill Walton, Jack Givens, Bill Bad Bradley. This is actually the first meal in the game that's got a stop. Oh man. That may turn into it's the entry 58, 58 points. Is the 58 points, yes. Probably guess Bill Walton. Or could be Bill Bradley. I would go with Bill Bradley. The final. Final answer. Bradley. Final. You're picking answer D. Okay. That's right. One quarter of a million. 1965 for Princeton. Terrific! You're just two questions away from making money like a pro. Well, like a pro in the 1970s. The next question is worth a half million dollars. And I think Mikey just saw that again. They saw that half a million. Who is the only cyclist to win five consecutive Tour de France competitions since his 1903 inception? Oh gosh. Miguel Indron, Eddie Merckix, uh, Laurent Vignon, Gazutai, Bernard Hinault. Uh, five since five yeah. Tour de France since its 1903 inception. Yeah, so Captain Doby is not an option. Yeah, Captain, Captain Doby is not the option. Is that long long? No. It's not. Uh, boy. Well, it's not last out on some success. Since the 1903 inception. 1903 inception. There's been one person who won it consecutively five years in a row. Right. Right? Yes. Alright, I found it. Alright. Miguel in the ring. Hey, you're right. Final. Final answer? You 
got to go with answer A. You got it. He's half million. Big Moog went five straight for 1991 and 1995. Well, you played a great game up to this point, but if you want to go the distance, you've still got to answer this one. Last question. It's only worth one million dollars. Can you do it? Which of these NBA head coaches was Dr. J's teammate at the University of Massachusetts? Pat Valley, Rick Patino, Mike Dunleavy, Doug Collins. Oh my God. Dr. J, we know Julius Irvin. Come on. The Dr. J at the NBA. Who is his teammate? In the University of Massachusetts. It was Eaton Long was going to either go with Pat Valley or Mike Dunleavy. It's got to be one of the two. And if Mike Dunleavy comes to mind, because I know he's the head coach of... I probably doubt to say Portland, the Trailblazers. But we know Pat Well is the infamous fame coach of the 1980s LA Lakers that sent them to win five NBA championships in the 80s. Oh my god, since Windstorm is really bad. I also, I hope not. Aha! Uh -huh. Why well, is everybody having shitty weather today? I don't know. I don't know. Mine's bad enough. Yes. Ben. You were thinking Mike Dunleavy, correct? That's what I was thinking of. He is? How? Pat Wiley. We'll see the ALC. Because that's my 50 50 test. Say they see the ALC. Rick Patino, Rick Patino, and Doug Collins. But if I were to go with my gut feeling, it would be Mike Dunleavy. It's classmate. Because only going through the school years. Yeah, if you do. Last, you just make sure. Who's the last one? Doug Collins was the last one. Doug Collins. Because if not going. The bigger, not, not the bigger, no. Because no. mm -hmm. if you're going through the years in college, go to different classes with anyone that's 